Hey folks, in this video we're going to talk about due dates and just how to set them up in different things within Moodle so that uh, it's useful for your students. So one of the most important things within uh, Moodle in using due dates is that those due dates will actually inform other spaces within Moodle. So what do I mean by that? Well, if we go to the dashboard and we scroll down to this thing called um, upcoming events, you see all of these things listed. These are all tied to dates that have been put into uh, different Moodle courses that I'm in. And it's a really nice thing. It's a really super thing to be able to see and to be able to just simply click on and say, oh, which one is this from? Oh, okay, this is that thing, you know, from, from Lance's course. I can very simply, once I see it and understand what it is, I can just go to that activity and it brings me right in. And in this case, I've already done it. So yay, luckily I'm, I can check that off. But it's important to actually be using those due dates. It's important to, to have those so that students can very clearly um, navigate and pull together. Because if every instructor is using it within, uh, w within College Unbound, what happens then is they are able to see across all of their courses an integrated schedule, whether they're using the Moodle calendar or they're using that upcoming things, uh, that, that upcoming events, it gives them a good clear view of what to expect from different courses. We, we know this can be really powerful, really helpful to our students to just have it all mapped out. So we're strongly encouraging the use of this. But then the question is, okay, so how do I do it? Well, as always, we turn our edit mode on and as we find, uh, this is a good example. So this is an assignment that I actually gave a due date to. And so you can see it's due Wednesday, August 10th, uh, 2022. So we're past the due date on that, but that's fine. Let's take a look at how we would adjust that. We click on the kebab menu, the little three dots here, and we do edit settings. And once we're in here, we come right down to availability. And availability for an assignment, you get several different Dates. And these can be a little overwhelming, but um, the one you really want to pay attention to is the due date. And in this case, you would set it to whenever you know whenever you think uh, it should be done. Keep in mind the time over here is based on a 24-hour clock. So if you are saying uh, the August 20, 27th at 0000, you are talking about 12 a.m., meaning at the beginning of the 27th, not at the end. So if you want it at the end of the 27th, you can say 1159, or sorry, 2359, and that will be 1159 on August 27th. So just keep that in mind in terms of the timing. Uh, but this is really the date you want to use on any major assign anything that's an assignment um, or discussion. You usually have that due date right here under availability. Now, there's going to be some things you may want students to do that don't actually have due dates. You want to give them a nudge, you want them to actually do something or look at something uh, before, you know, class starts or something like that. So you might want them, you might have a page or you might have a document that you really want them to look at before class or before a meeting time. Well, you can put in an expected due date by, by actually, again, as you're looking at the item, if you click on the kebab menu and you go to edit settings and you scroll down to activity completion, uh, this is where you can actually enable something to be completed. And you can say, hey, everybody, you know, I really need you to complete this by August 28th. Um, you know, maybe class is at, uh, let's see, if I can, if I, Remember how to do this in terms of time. I believe 1800 is six o'clock. So maybe I want them to complete this by 6 p.m. That's when we're having class. So I can actually set that up and hit save. And what that will mean is that when students are looking on things like their, uh, as I mentioned before, under, under this area of upcoming events, it will show up here. Uh, I haven't refreshed this page, so it won't show up right now, but it will show up here as a place of something is due on that date. So that's what, that's the, the the dynamics around using uh, using that that due that due date using the expected to be completed on date. These can be really helpful cues within your course for the students, but also for the students throughout their courses. Uh, that if we're collectively all doing this, it gives them a lot more clear information um, about what's coming up and helps them plan accordingly. So I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, and thank you so much.